What's going on everybody? Haven't made any videos in a while. I had some issues with my uh, video processing software I was using. I was using this uh, particular app for an iPhone. I really liked it. It allowed me to see my videos to the cloud, upload them from my laptop, work on them wherever I wanted. And then one day I went to get my videos and it said that I wasn't a subscriber anymore even though they had, were still billing my account. So I contacted their customer service people I showed them where they had screenshots from a bank account where they've been taking the money out for the last couple months. They said I hadn't paid for two months. I ended up having to go through the Apple store and get a refund. The company wasn't willing to help at all, even though I could show them the receipts where I've been paying them. Apple confirmed that they had forwarded the payments to them. It was a strange situation. So I got really frustrated. Couldn't find a video processing software that I liked. Haven't been around a whole lot. But anyway, um, I have some backlog videos. I I'm going to try and get around to posting them about what happened with the case tractor um, the international skidster i bought still working on the dump trailer got some other new stuff since then but anyway this is going to be a short video today that compares the 1500 pound capacity harbor freight swivel wheel jack to the lighter weight one and the sticker has come off i want to say it's 750 or a thousand pound one i'll update that in the description um this is a 12 foot carolina skiff that i've been working on I got this Cox trailer with a $80 boat that I bought. Boat was a project I wasn't ready to get into right now, but the trailer was nice. Um, so I completely redid it. It has um, brand new coupler. I got the Fulton fold-away coupler for it. Brand new Harbor Freight strap jack. Um, brand new bearings. Brand new 12-inch wheels and tires I got from Harbor Freight. You can see the bearing buddies are from Harbor Freight. The uh, LED light kit is from Harbor Freight. So, I mean, it's really been relying on them a lot for just cheap stuff to get this little project going. Um, this particular trailer was, was just junk. Um, the bunks were completely rotted out. I got all new um, hot dipped galvanized bunk kit for it. Um, two by six untreated bunks that I made with um, indoor outdoor marine carpet. This is the Stingray Viking from Home Depot. But this is the little project I've been working on. And this boat's 12 foot, so it will fit in the garage area of the uh, 25 Pack 12 Wolfpack camper. So that's the whole impetus behind this. But anyway, um, I put this, um, put this smaller jack on here, but I'm gonna be winching this entire, winching this entire trailer up into the camper. And I'm really worried about the entire weight of this camper, uh, the entire weight of the boat in the trailer uh, being rested on this jack as it comes up over the lip of the ramp for the toy hauler and everything else so i was at harbor freight today and i saw they had this 1500 pound one on here and i figured hey for 30 he's on sale for 36 dollars figured i would try it. these things at harbor freight are usually around 30 bucks anyway i have another trailer i can swap this one to just a little engine sort of an engine stand trailer but since i had them both on here side by side I'm actually hoping to move this. Uh, this is where the jack was. It does interfere with this, um, with the strap winch, which is a pain in the butt, because you have to have the, the jack tilted to use the winch, whatever. Um, but I want to make the, um, I want to make the whole tongue removable using that kit. So I want to move it back, but this is what it looks like. They are almost identical. Like if, if you didn't have them side by side, I don't even think you'd be able to tell. Um, but now that they, they are side by side, this one is is maybe a, a half inch bigger in diameter. You can see I can meet my thumb and forefinger around that one. Um, this one, my, my hands don't touch. So it's a thicker steel. Um, the construction is almost identical. This one has some like crimped things here, which are probably the top of the, the worm drive for the uh, the jack assembly. This one has this steel sort of plate that's sandwiched in there, which I'm guessing is stronger. Um, this one has a, a single pin. This one has a single pin if you want to tilt it. This one here has uh, these, these dual pins we've actually never seen before. So you, you grab it here in the middle and the whole thing tilts. And it won't tilt now because they're too close to each other to tilt. They, they clock into each other. And I may have to space this out, but I'm just showing you how they're built. Um, so the main the main difference, like the, the big selling point for me, is that th this one has uh, 
Slow this down a little. Here we go. All right. This um, this heavier duty one here has two wheels. This one just has one. That's the main thing that attracted me to it. This one won't get bogged down. If you have softer soil, it'll roll easier over the ramp to the toy haul or anything else to roll it over. But the bolts are the same diameter. The side plates look like they might be the, from the same stamping. Um, but the difference, the differences are, whereas, um, crank that one down a little so I can turn this. So, um, I don't know how much you can tell, but where this one's just a single piece of stamping folded over and welded to the bottom of the jack, this one is a, um, this one is a stamping that runs sideways uh, through this C, C channel section that's welded to the bottom. It seems like that would give it a lot more strength right here at this union. And again, this, uh, this jack thing is bigger around, the, um, the inside of the jack is bigger around than the, the lighter duty one. Uh, that's not the only difference. Now these were bought at se separate times, so they may have changed some of this stuff on that one. The Harbor Freight likes to revise their items every year or two. But um, I, I don't know if you can tell, this one has um, sleeves that go inside these wheels, so you can't over tighten this. Like these won't squeeze down. This one did not have a sleeve. And I remember when I tightened it down, you can tighten it so tight the wheel won't move, um, which, if the housing deforms at all, it's going to rub against this plastic wheel. Whereas this one, you can tighten it all the way down so that these are perfectly tight and even because the spacer holds them apart. And then the, um, see the wheels are still free to have some wiggle room and they spin really easy. So I like that. Um, I also thought this one might have more room if I want to put some kind of rubber or, um, or solid tires on there at some point just to roll a little easier still over the gaps. The, um, the back plates, the hardware that comes with them, uh, from what I can tell, it's identical. I think the swivel assembly may be identical. Now this one, um, I, I don't know if you can tell from that camera angle. This one's held in place with four carriage bolts, or they may be rivets. Um, now they're carriage bolts, they're carriage bolts. So it's bolted with four bolts to this assembly that lets it pivot. And this one over here, let me get you down. Here we go. Okay. This one over here just has a snap ring. See this snap, this uh, C-clip. The C-clip is all that holds this uh, tilting assembly to that one. This one has, there's four, um, sorry for the nausea there. There's four carriage bolts. So this one's definitely way stronger in the tilt assembly, but other than those bolts, they look identical. So I would say, I mean, this one you're getting thicker tube, you're getting a stronger tilt assembly, you're getting double uh, two two wheels. If the difference in price stays what it's at now, which at, it was within ten dollars of each other, there's no reason I think I'll ever buy the lighter duty one again. Uh, this one's just nicer. The only thing is, it is going to stick out further because you have two tires. Um, it's the really only downside I can think of. Um, anyway, if if you guys are looking for a cheap but slightly stronger jack. I mean, you're not gonna wanna use either of these on like an equipment trailer probably or anything like that. They're, I don't think either of them are as strong as the jacks that are on my, my bigger flatbed and my dump trailer. And even though it's rated at 1500 pounds, like I just, I just don't think these are made for that. These are made for boat trailers and stuff that are gonna have like a couple hundred pounds tongue weight. It's my opinion. Like I said, they are rated at 1500 pounds, but this is a, a pretty nice jack, I think, for the money compared to the, um, the lighter duty one. So, all right. Well, to all my loyal subscribers that are still checking my vids, thank you. I'm going to try and upload some updates on those other projects uh, when I find software that lets me do it. I'm not a technical genius or a guru. I just try and find stuff that's easy for me to use that doesn't take a ton of time for me to figure it out. So... Charlie's still here. He's keeping an eye on everything while I shoot my videos. Thanks for your time, guys. Uh, like, share, subscribe.